For over 27 years, a group of intrepid paddlers explored the Delaware River and its tributaries during the third week of June. These river nomads, referred to as sojourners, paddle different sections of the Delaware River every year. The term sojourn means to stay for a temporary period of time in a place. For seven or sometimes eight days per year, paddlers of every age, race, and orientation come together to experience paddling on the last undammed river in the eastern United States. The Delaware River is divided into four sections, the upper, middle, lower, and tidal Delaware River. The upper Delaware flows from the headwaters in upstate New York to Port Jervis, New York. Below Port Jervis, down to the Delaware Water Gap, is the Middle Delaware. And the Lower Delaware is the longest and most populated section of the river, stretching from the Delaware Water Gap down to Trenton, New Jersey. Everything below Trenton is the tidal section of the river. Every year, the Delaware River Sojourn spends a couple of days in each section of the river. I like it because you see so many different parts of the river, from the very scenic wilderness on the north to down in the, to the tidal regions. It's just a variety, and with all the support, it's always safe, it's always fun. We get too much to eat sometimes, but outside of that, it's all good. Known for its excellent water quality and diverse populations of wildlife, unique natural areas and scenic vistas, and historic towns along its shores, the Delaware River is truly one of our greatest national treasures. Following this water trail provides opportunities to see eagles, hawks, heron, beavers, otters, black bear, red fox, deer, and many other animals in their natural habitats. While anyone can paddle the river on their own, the Delaware River Sojourn offers many advantages that help take the guesswork out of the trip. Kayak, food, safety team, shuttles, and camping locations are provided. All you need to do is bring your tent, trailer, or RV to sleep in, along with any other personal essentials or items to make the experience more enjoyable. The Sojourn offers catered meals, including vegetarian and gluten-free options. If you would like to bring your own boat to paddle, transportation is provided. Each section of the river has its own group of day planners who know their sections of the river extremely well. The days are planned to minimize travel, create a unique on-water experience, eat locally prepared meals, educate paddlers on each section of the river, and provide entertaining or educational evening programs. And after all the jack in the boxes. Camping locations often include historic sites, state and national parks, private campgrounds, nature centers, and even museums on occasion. Local festivals and attractions are often incorporated into each day's plans. So, what is a typical day on the Delaware River Sojourn like? There's a comfortable flow to the day, referred to as Sojourn Time. Sojourn time is the pace that one encounters when the schedules ebb and flow due to nature, weather, or river conditions. As soon as the sun rises in the morning, the camp begins to stir. People check in with Sojourn registration. After check-in, breakfast is served, and gear is prepared for the day's paddle. Paddlers are either bust or make their way to the put-in location where their boats are ready and waiting on the shores of the Delaware River. After the morning announcements and the mandatory safety talk and tips for new paddlers, boats are prepared for launch. Participants gather on water around the put-in until all the boats are off the shore. And the lead boat's whistle signals the start of the day's trip. After a few hours of paddling, enjoying the scenic vistas of the river, the group stops at a predetermined lunch spot. If the location is accessible, hot food is brought in by local caterers, or if the spot is extremely remote, 
a boxed lunch is provided to each sojourner. During lunch, there's usually an educational or informational program highlighting the section of the river that is being paddled. Following lunch, boats are launched and the afternoon paddle begins. Each paddling day can range from 6 to 15 miles. As the boats reach the takeout location, gear is gathered, boats are readied for the next day, and sojourners make their way back to camp. And people relax or take a short hike until dinner is served. Dinner is followed by an evening program. Or just sitting around a campfire enjoying the camaraderie of people brought together by the common goal of enjoying, protecting, and conserving the Delaware River for future generations. At some point throughout the day, a River High Admiral Award may be presented to an individual or group in that section of the river who has provided exceptional service to improve quality, protect water or cultural resources, or educate the public on the importance of the Delaware River watershed. After all, the Delaware River provides drinking water to over 15 million people in New York City, Trenton, Philadelphia, and Wilmington. As the day winds down and quiet time in camp starts, sojourners get some much needed rest. One feature that sets the Delaware River sojourn apart is the National Canoe Safety Patrol, or the NCSP. The Safety Patrol helps new paddlers learn the skills necessary to stay safe on the water and make sure that all boaters wear properly fitting life vests. This makes the sojourn a great trip for inexperienced paddlers who want to improve their skills. When you paddle on the Delaware River sojourn and let your imagination wander the historic shores, you find yourself paddling alongside Lenape warriors traveling between villages, past log rafts headed to Philadelphia to become masts for tall ships, witness revolutionary and civil war battles taking place on the banks of the river, and see George Washington crossing the Delaware as the flowing waters carry you through time. The advantage of a sojourn trip like this is that you can paddle for just one or two days or the entire trip. If you need to take a break from paddling for the day, there's always nearby trails to hike, attractions to visit, or you can simply enjoy a quiet day in camp. Each person's connection to the river is different, but the connection to the river is what each sojourner has in common. Being on the Delaware sojourn is the same as being alive on this earth. We are only in a place for a limited amount of time, and we need to make the best of it. Always love, respect, and care for each other as much as possible. And at the end of the day, all you have is your boat, the river, and the people sharing your journey. For more information about the Delaware River Sojourn, visit DelawareRiverSojourn.com.